MDC leader and Zimbabwe's Prime Minister Morgan Changirai has lashed out at the AU Commission chair. Nkosazana Dlaminizuma has said all political parties were happy with the election preparations, but Changirai has made it clear he told her differently. And he's gone as far as saying next week's election is at risk of being rigged. Dr. Nkosazana Dlaminizuma joins us now live from our Durban studios. Madam Chair, uh, thank you very much for joining us. Now, Prime Minister Changirai has strongly opposed your statement that all parties were satisfied uh, with election preparations. He contends that he told you otherwise. What was your statement based on? Um, you know, the African Union Commission has been on, on the ground in Zimbabwe for weeks and weeks. Our first observers arrived in June in Zimbabwe and we call them long-term observers, and they've been all over Zimbabwe. And also, when I arrived, uh, we've got reports from them. Uh, and of course, when I also arrived, I also met them. I met the Zimbabwe Electoral Commission, and I met the leaders uh, that are contesting the presidential election except Mr. Dabengwa, who was out of town, and also Mr. Welshman Ngube, but I spoke to him on the phone. Um, we, our, our view is that first and foremost, having spoken to all of them, they all agree that the environment and the atmosphere of the elections is much more improved than it was before. And in any case, all of us can see that, that there is no violence at the moment. Uh, they did say, some of them, that there were isolated incidents, but nothing uh, orchestrated or anything. And of course, we also followed through the Electoral Commission all the questions that our people had gathered uh, during their stay there. And the Electoral Commission went through. Uh, I even said uh, in my statement that the Electoral Commission did admit that the special votes, in fact, they used the word nightmare, that the special votes was a nightmare. And they explained, and we, we spent time with them because we wanted to know step by step what preparations they've made, why this 31st will be different from the special votes, because indeed it had not gone well. We also asked them about the voters' role because those are some of the questions that have come. We asked them about their preparations. We asked them about their budget. We asked them about everything. But we also talked to the Deputy Prime Minister, we also talked to others. And our view um, was that, yes, of course, there were these questions, and some of the questions that were raised by the people we met, including the Prime Minister, uh, most of them were around Zek. And before I, re I left Harare, I even met with Zek to raise those questions. But at no stage, I, I still just want to put it on record as a fact, that at no stage did anyone talk about the rigging of the elections to us. Now, Madam at no stage. So I was basing, yeah. and, so, and, and I did not say the election, I did not predict what will happen mm. on the 31st. I just, went through what the preparations are. And of course, so far, so good compared to even 2008. Madam Chair, you've covered quite a few bases already in, in, in your answer. Let's go back to the issue, the allegations of election rigging. Now, the Prime Minister claims that there is a secret document containing plans to steal the elections. You have, um, I guess you've challenged anyone who has this document to present it before you. Were such a document to be presented to you, would the AU be able, what would the AU be able to do with regards to this? Would it change the situation with regards to the elections? Would it affect the elections? 
Let me state it again as a fact that nobody mentioned this document to us. The first time I heard about this document was when the British journalists from The Guardian asked me at the press conference about it. And I responded, and I still want to put that on record, that nobody mentioned it to us until that journalist mentioned it. What we do as the AU, and that's why we, 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 we come early, because when we hear and we find that there is something happening that is not right, we go to ZEC or to the Electoral Commission, depending on that country, mm -hmm. and we say there is this and this and this. Let's see that it's the, the preparations are such that this will not happen, or you must correct this, or you must do this. Because our aim, we are not, as the AU, we are not there just to police. We are there to assist countries to have a successful election. So if we get something that might uh, jeopardize the elections, of course we take it to the Electoral Commission and make sure that the Electoral Commission puts measures that will make sure that that does not happen. So, Madam that Chair. That is what we do. We, we assist, we give them the information, whatever we get, mm -hmm. so that in their preparation, they make sure that whatever is, uh, it, it, it may put the elections in jeopardy is corrected in good time. Madam so, Chair, I have no such document and I still. We, we haven't received such document, and we heard about it only from the British journalist. Okay, Madam Chair, our correspondents in Zimbabwe have encountered people on the voters' roll uh, who've not registered to vote. Uh, they've also encountered people who are on the voters' roll, but who are registered to vote in areas that they've never, uh, they've actually never lived. Are you, will you, have you uh, encountered any of, inst any of these kinds of instances, and what, can be, what will be done about it in conjunction with ZEC? In fact, uh, there, there are people who raised issues about the voters' rules and the names of the people in the voters' rules. Before I left Harare yesterday, we even met with the deputy chair of ZEC and raised some, some of these issues with her to take it back to ZEC to ensure that the voters' role is a credible voters' role. We even raised with them, uh, because in the press conference also they had raised some issues about uh, people who are dead. And she just explained to us the process of taking people off the voters' roll, that they can only take them off if there has been a, a reporting of the death no, no, in a normal way so that there is evidence that the person has died and they take them off the so we, we have been engaging them at every stage. And some people raised that they, uh, there may be names that are duplicated. We raised it with them and said they must go through the voters' roll and make sure that uh, things that are, if there are names that are duplicated, they are able to. Rem so everything that we hear, we take it to them. We don't have, because our ultimate objective is a successful election. So we can't hide things. If there are things that may make the elections go bad, we raise them. Madam Chair, and it's not just me. It's not just me. Mm -hmm. Even our long-term observers who have been there since June, they do that as well. They check, and they and, and if they see if they find that yes, this is happening, they take it to the to 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 the authorities, the ZEC if it's if it's about ZEC. Even the issue of the media not being uh, fair to other parties, we raised it with ZEC. So nothing that people have raised, we, 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 we raise everything with them. Madam Chair, be because beyond it's to raising... to assist them to know what is on the ground. Be Madam Chair, beyond raising the issues, what guarantees are there that all these, all these concerns will be, take, will be actually addressed before the elections happen? What guarantees are there that these problems will be fixed and ironed out before then? 
Well, I don't have guarantees, but all I can say is that Zach has said they will try their best in terms of doing what they can to address some of the issues. Uh, for instance, some of the issues that uh, people raised also about funding of the political parties, that some parties are funded by government, some are not. We raised that, but it's in the law. And we even raised it and said, beyond the elections, it's something maybe that they should revisit because they thre of their threshold, which is quite high. So if you didn't get 5% or more of the votes, you don't get government funding. So we've raised even things that can't be changed now, but yeah. things that um, should be discussed. So all the, th the things that they raised with me, I've raised with all the uh, relevant authorities. And our observers are there, the team is there, they will continue. But what we were just saying is, is reporting what we've seen. Yeah. And we can't say that the elections, the preparations are worse than 2008. There is peace now which we have not seen in 2008. And we, right. we were stressing to the Zimbabweans that they must keep the peace until the elections and beyond and that leaders must preach peace as they've been doing from now, as they've been doing before, until the elections and beyond. Because from the AU side, we would really like every single country of the 54 countries that are members of the AU to have peaceful elections, to have successful elections, to have democratically elected government, to have governments where the people have expressed their will. And so that is our main objective. Thank you for, ta for your time, uh, Madam Chair. That was Dr. Ngosa Zanadlamini Zuma, Chairperson of the African Union. We'll have your headlines uh, shortly after this. News that moves. ENCA.com.